So we are getting voice chat in the trading hub. Now this means that you can't actually type in the trading hub. So this is going to be voice chat only. So you can't type, you can only use your voice chat. And if you don't have voice chat, it's just a feature you can get from Roblox where you can basically talk to people with your voice, actual voice. And so in this training app, you can only speak with your voice. But what will happen is, the funny thing is, people will be begging for fruits with their voice on. A lot of kids will probably be in the VC only and be like begging and <laughs> screaming, please give me a logia, please give me a fruit. It's a corny. And what would people do? Really scream, looking for this item, right? People would be like, looking for the all thing. I am looking for all. It just sounds so weird. Like, what? Is it just to hang out? It's just that if you just talk, then it makes sense. I feel like people would be screaming, looking for an all thing. I you can trade. I mean, especially now that the you know game became free, we have a lot of more beggars now. I mean, I went to the trading hub and there were a couple of beggars. Because before there weren't any buggers in the trading hub except I, for me personally, in my experience, I didn't meet a lot of beggars, like people that were actively coming up to people and saying, please give me stuff, right? Please give me free stuff. Um, but now that it became free, I'm seeing a lot of more like new players that are probably free to play asking for stuff. And so now that if they add voice chat to the trading hub, I believe that little ass kids are going to be screaming. Please give me a fruit, please, this, that, and that, please give me an item. Oh my goodness, it has to be so, like, just bad to be in one of those, like, voice chat only person. I might record one and listen, just to see how it's like. In case I'm running people just regularly talking, talking about that fruits they want to trade or whatever. And if it's a W or a L or stuff like that. But as a whole, it seems like a good update, you know, but if we ignore the biggers and the, like, people screaming, it sounds like a pretty cool, it make the actual trading hubs more like social, I feel like. People go to the VC only like place to like talk to people over like trades and just general stuff. It make it like more like a social hangout compared to what it was now because people didn't, people didn't usually talk, talk like that on the trading hub. People usually only talk to each other about trades. But now with the VC, it makes talking a lot easier so you don't have to type stuff. So people might just be randomly discussing like trades and just just general stuff and I feel like that's a good thing. It make maybe the trading hub more fun. Personally I am not a uh, one to get the voice chat because I have many reasons why I should not get worse and I'm gonna get into them right now actually. It's super like fucking the reason I don't want to get voice chat is because I don't wanna give my ID to Roblox since um, Roblox, I don't really trust them like that, you know, and they, the thing is, when you give your, like, identification, your national identity card to a corporation like Roblox, you don't know whether they're selling it or not, you know, since companies sell your information, they sell your cookies, they sell your data, what's to stop them from selling your, you know, information, like, your, about your national, identifi national identification card, like, who's to say they will not sell your information on your national identity card to other companies for them to like market their items towards you you know who knows it's more like a breach of privacy you know so it's like i don't want i don't want corporations to get my national identity card it's different if it's like one or two but for a gaming website to get my national identity card it's kind of like too far like it's my privacy is kind of being invaded you know and i don't feel comfortable giving that to roblox but that's kind of whatever because that's not about gpo but i mean just just tell me, do you guys do you guys have voice chat? And if you don't, tell me not. Also, will you do this if you do have voice chat? Will you enter these like trading, trading only VC only places and talk with people over voice about what the trade is gonna do? Imagine you deny somebody's trade over voice chat and they immediately start roasting you. They start getting on your head. They start they start insulting you and they start getting on your head as soon as you reject their ad offer, bro. Let's see. They're probably like. I'm gonna give you a suki for a motion and you say no and you're suddenly gonna start screaming at you. It's, it's crazy. Hopefully that doesn't happen though. I don't think I don't think nothing stops you though. I believe you can I believe you can 100 percent swear on voice chat and nothing will stop them. Even though they were saying like if you do you will get like banned or something. Do they even record those? Because if you think about it, imagine Roblox is act actively recording your voice chat discussions, so you can't really talk freely, imagine. 
what we're going to talk about. That's all I want to talk about. I kind of got derailed a little bit when I talked about, you know, privacy. But I feel like it matters a little bit. Regardless, though, um, check out the video I made yesterday where I was talking about uh, if trading is easy, I think it was called. 